the notification button so you see more videos all right so there's the testing where we divide the test by two don't forget that okay the next one so all the question is just about interpretation so let's for do this side this is this side like this so now the next one I is this you can see this this now uh is external this two you join it is 27 and this circle and that they want to join them together the radius of 14 you know and it's external to it external to 27 external to uh 16 that is 32 that is okay since it's external that will be 14 let's take this one first 14 plus this bigger circle that is 14 plus 16 you understand 14 radius for 16 that will give us 30 okay this will give us 30 we are going to draw the arc of 30 from that point because the center of the circle was a somewhere it is, it is somewhere but we didn't know it so we need to draw the center so that's why we need to draw the arc from this point so the arc 30 right so the 14 again so you need to draw the axis is joining this and this and the centers of the centers of this is this that's why I draw the 30 here 14 plus 16 give us 30 you join this one now all right you join this one so and the centers of this one is here oh for god is here that's uh, here okay so in that place is 14 plus 27 is 14 plus 27 okay all right so the 14 this one joined to this one so what i want to draw the arc from here this point here because we measure from here to here 0 0.8 so i will use it to draw this big circle okay according to this so we are going to measure 14 plus 27 this is the two radius joined together okay that will give us 41 14 plus 27 give us 41 so now i'm going to draw the arc from here that's the arc of down. So you can see where it's joined together here. You can see where it's joined together. Here. So we are going to sketch out the 14. After it joined, the arc joined together. That means that we have get the center of the circle. Okay. So after we got the center of the circle, after we get to the center of the circle, we are going to uh, draw a radius 14. So once you draw it, it is joined to this automatically. So measure 14 that would be 4 point oh sorry 1.4 1.4 right 1.4 don't forget it. 1.4 so from that place that's the center of the that is automatically it's joined together at that portion automatically it's joined together when you make it here 1.4 Join together like this. That is so you just make sure it accordingly if you join together. Okay. So the next one now we are moving on. So the next one and uh, we have seen the we have brought this one down that we have completed this side. Okay, we have completed that side. So this side now the next side is this side we want to complete it. Okay. So we can see this one here. This one joining to this small one, this bigger one join to this small one, and then we can see how it's curved. So imagine the circle is complete like this. Imagine the circle is completed. So when once it's completed like this, once we imagine, we can see that this it has a way of capturing this one. That means that it's internal to this one and it's external to this one because this one go like this and in uh, this uh, circle move like this so it's external to this and internal to this so let's for us sketch our arc from this place so since it's internal to the that will be minus so that will be 16 here the bigger circle 16 minus this this is 62 so 16 minus 62 what do you give us 
T minus 60. So that will give us uh, 50, that will give us 46. That will give us 46. So we are going to measure 46. 46. That's 46 from here. Because Nintama to this one. It's Nintama to this one. And the circle is somewhere here. The center of the circle is somewhere here. So 46 is taken here. Yes, okay. You can later clean it if it's too long. Okay. That's 46. So this one is this small one is Nintama. I mean, it's external to this small one. That will be plus. So you can check it as external. This one. This one. So that will be plus okay so let's get it done so that 10 plus 52 that will give us 72 that's 7.2 that will be 